Hey everybody, it's me, Matthew Reinhardt, and welcome to art class. Oh, all my students out there. Uh, we're ready to make some art projects, we're ready to make something different. So today's class, we're going to um, use three different, we're gonna use three pieces of cardstock. Now cardstock's a little heavier than regular paper. Let me just warn you, you are gonna be drawing on this white one, so it might be nice to have at least one sheet of the white paper, because what we're gonna do today, oh, this is really cool, we're gonna make a transforming picture frame. Just using the cardstock, some markers, or you can use other things like crayons or colored pencils. Um, don't use paint, don't use paint. Um, you can use those three different things um, for drawing and coloring. Um, we're gonna need scissors. You only need one pair, just a nice pair of scissors that you're comfortable using. I have two because, you know, because I'm me. Um, a ruler, the rulers rule, man, totes rule, uh, so we need a ruler. Uh, we need two types of tape. We need, uh, oh, do we need two types of tape today? No, we only need one type of tape today. And one-sided tape. Look at that. One-sided tape just has tape, sticky part, that is, on one side. Um, you can also use masking tape if you want to. That's one-sided too. And let's see what else. Markers, pencil, sharpened pencil. Make sure you have a sharpened pencil, everyone. Okay, you ready to get started? Let's do it. Let's first. Let's see what we're gonna do first. We're gonna take our, this is the sheet that we're gonna draw a picture on, okay? And here's what we're gonna do. We're going to fold this in a hamburger fold in half. You know what a hamburger fold is? That's going this way, all right? So we're gonna fold it going that way. And watch how I do this. I kind of, um, let me pull down there a little. What I do is I like to line up my corners just like that. There's a corner and there's a corner. And then I like to hold my hand on it like that. And then what I do is I sort of push my hand out and mash it. So that way this is all, this part here is held straight. And then I mash it outward. Now that's not a good enough fold. Look at that. It's barely folded. So what we're going to do to make that fold, that crease right there, really, really sharp, we're going to use the handles of a scissors. Just rub it along there, just like that. See how I did that? Just like that. And I'm, I'm gonna fold it the opposite way and do the same thing. You can do it with your fingers too and pinch it. You do this. We just wanna make sure we can really see that fold. All right, now we're gonna fold this edge here into the center. And then we're gonna fold this edge into the center. Okay? So I'm gonna fold it in just like this. Remember last time, I'm gonna make sure my corner here is touching the fold in the center and the center. You know what I'm gonna do before I do that? I'm just gonna make a line at the center because you know that way you can see it. I'm gonna use my ruler. See that center fold we already have? I'm just gonna line up my ruler. Make sure I go along that. There, now we can see it. See, now you can see it. All right, so get back, let's get back to folding this edge into the center. I'm going to fold it. See there, that corner up, up there, and then the corner on the bottom. And what do I do? I, before I push it down and flatten it, I hold it, and then I can use my scissors. Do, 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 do. Make it a fold, make it a fold. It's so cool. All right, there we got that nice fold. And then we're going to fold it the opposite way, just because that makes this piece easier, makes the fold easier to see, quite frankly. See, isn't that nice? So we do that. Um, do you need time to catch up? Maybe it's a catch-up time. All right, so let's do the other side now. Let's catch, now that you've caught up, let's, let's fold this edge into the center. How do we do it? We make sure our corners are lined up. There's a corner, and there's a corner. And what do we do? We hold it down. This time we're going to hold it with this hand. And we're going to flatten it. I'm going to flatten it this time with my finger. I'm going to run it down. Oh, but if your finger doesn't work that way, look. Just take it like that. Do, do, do. And make sure it's holding right and it's right in the corner. And if you make a mistake, you can always meet, remake the fold. You don't have to start all over again. You can do it. It's okay if there's little mistakes and things. I, I make little mistakes all the time. I make, actually, I make lots of big mistakes. Like I'm making a mistake right now. And I'm just going to fix it. Yeah, there we go. So there, I folded it right to the center. And what do I do? Do you remember? I fold it the opposite way too, just to make that fold extra 
extra nice and loose, so now we can see it. All right, do you need time to catch up? You do that. All right, have you caught up? So we've made, we folded this piece of paper into fours. One, two, three, four. Look at that. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna use my pencil. Instead of using the ruler this time, I'm gonna just hold this piece of paper where the fold is sticking straight up, and I'm gonna do the edge with my pencil. See how I'm doing that? I'm just rubbing the side of that point of the pencil where the lead is. I'm rubbing it on the fold so that we can, now we're gonna be able to see where to see it. Look at that, you didn't even have to draw on it. You just, you just kind of, well you drew on it, but you just kind of rubbed the edge of the lead, that gray part, that's the lead. One time when I was a kid, and I was, I, was work, I was doing some drawings with a pencil, I accidentally got a really sharp pencil stuck in my hand, and I had to go to the nurse's office. And thankfully, I was okay. I mean, I think I am, I still am okay. So there, look, I made those lines, look at that. So now there's three lines. And let's turn it over to the other side, and let's make lines on those folds too. Okay, the next step, we're gonna do more folding. Now watch how I do this. We're going to actually, let's see, I'm trying to think of the best way to do it. Hmm. Oh, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna fold this edge to this fold. So we'll just go like this. What do we do? We hold it in the corners, fold it in the corners, make sure it's just right. And what do we use? Oh, scissors, come here. Come here, you scissors, you. We're gonna rub it right there. So we got a fold just like that. Now we need to make a fold between here and here. We're, we're actually, we're, we're folding this going this way. We're gonna have eight long strips. So that's what we're gonna do for this. So we need to put this, let's see, you have this, you have this folded. Hey, you know how we could do this? We could fold it going this way. We just need to make sure it's lined up at the top. You see, it's lined up there. Let's hold it. It's kind of hard when you get more and more paper. Yeah, we use this and rub it on that end. It works best to make these folds, I gotta tell you. Some people like to do it in the air like this. It's better if you do it down on, the, on, on, your, on your desk, because then you can really push it with your hands or with the scissors. Okay, so we got that fold. Now we need to fold, make a fold between these two. So let's do it like, just like we did before. We're kind of like making a fan. You ever made a fan where you're like, oh, I do declare, you know, it's really cold, you have your so hot, you know. So let's, okay, so we got this folded. We're gonna fold this rectangle in half, just like this. Remember that corner there and that corner there. Make sure they line up. Push them just in the right spot. I'm going to hold it with this hand. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to rub this and push it down. Make it that crease really nice on that fold. Okay, we just got one left. I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to fold it over. Remember, we get the corners. We want to make sure all these strips are the same. So we need to make sure all of our corners are in the right spot right there and there. We need to make sure all these, all eight strips, all eight rectangles are pretty much all the same. So see now we have, whoop, you know what we gotta do? I think, I'm, I'm folding them the opposite way too. Remember how we do that? Because when we fold it the opposite way, it makes our, our fold lines really clear. So let's do it the other way too. See, it's kind of like a fan, you know, you ever seen those? Oh, it's so hot in here. Oh my, oh my God, oh Lord. Um, anyways, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, you caught up. Okay, all right, so we're gonna make uh, pencil lines on the folds that we didn't so that we know where those folds are. So I'm just gonna close this. So now you can see where all those folds are, right? You see those lines? Let's turn it over. We've got a few to do on this side. We have to fold it up like this. Now you don't have to do it like that. I think I showed you earlier that you could actually use a ruler if you wanted to, but you have to find the fold and you have to line up your ruler like this. And then you just run your pencil down it just like that. Real simple. All right, do you need time to catch up? 
All right, well, we're just gonna use the ruler. You could, but you can still rub the pencil. Either way works. I just wanted to show you two different ways that you could make sure that you have all of your fold lines marked with a pencil. See, you could do it like with a ruler, just like that, or you could just rub the pencil lead just like this. But we have to make sure when we're making this, we have to make sure that every fold, every one of these folds has a little bit of pencil between them so we can see it. All right, can you see it? And it's on this side too. All right. So guess what's next? We get to actually do something different. We're gonna cut one strip off, all right? And ooh, there's tape on my thing. All right, let's cut one off very carefully. Be, follow along the fold. Take your time. Take your time. And if I'm moving too fast, you can take a catch-up break all on your own, okay? Just put pause, all right, if you need to. Take your time. Make sure that this, when you cut it, it's very straight. All right, so this one strip, now we're gonna use this. We're gonna use it for something else, but, but we're not gonna actually use it in our project. It's gonna be used as a tool. And what we're gonna do, now that we have one, and now we should only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven strips of, um, that are sections of the paper left. We're gonna use this extra piece, and we're gonna use it kind of as a guide to make some lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Line it up with the bottom here. You see how I line that up just with that corner and then the bottom? See how those two are lined up? What I'm going to do is I'm going to just trace. Oops. Oopsie these. Let's go close. And I'm going to trace the top right there. And since there's, since it's a little short, I'm just going to move this over a little and continue that line. So see what I did? I used this piece and I lined it up so I could make a line across the bottom. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the top up here. So let's do that. Line it up to the top, which where do I, I don't draw here, right? I draw here. Okay, so we've got it on the top and the bottom. Look at that, top and bottom. Let's turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. All right, there we go. Now, we're gonna do a little numbering. So let's get on close. And we're gonna put our numbers up here in the top boxes. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this one, we're not gonna put seven. We're gonna put an X. And you know what that's going to mean? We can't draw anything in here. Got that? All right, so we've done it on the top. Do you need time to catch up? Did you catch up on the break? Okay, let's turn it over. We're going to do the same thing. Now you got to make sure when you turn it over that these numbers are still on the top. They're still on the top, see? They're still on the top. Now, in this box, we have to write the same numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's the last one? It's not a seven, it's an X. Now, now you're gonna notice that if you turn it over and look, the numbers aren't the same on the other side, but that doesn't matter. We need, we need them to be different, okay? Whew. All right, now, we need to make the frame. Let's take, I'm gonna use this dark color. 
And we're gonna we're gonna make a frame out of this. What is that shadow? It's a shadow. All right. Now we're gonna make a frame, and we're gonna use this piece again, this extra strip. This is our little ruler strip. And we're gonna line it up to this edge, just like this. Does that look good? Can you see that? And it's lined up there, and then we're just gonna draw a line with our pencil going down like this. You see that line? We do need that. You see that line? That's nice. Then we're gonna to go to the other side. And we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna line up that corner, but just on the opposite side. So I'm lining up the corner. And I'm gonna make that line just like that. Oops, look at I made a mistake. Look at that, That's a, that doesn't look like a straight line, does it? Hey professor, yeah, some straight line that is. Let's fix it, because you know, we make mistakes sometimes. I just erased it. That's what pencil erasers are for. Uh, yeah. So let's line it up. Okay, remember these corners first. And then we have to use our pencils across that edge right there. That's better. And then let's do the same for the t these sides. So remember, line it up to the edge. Then we go across here. This is gonna be, let's make sure it's right. There we go, that's pretty good. And then we're gonna do the bottom part here. And we just line it up, just like this. This is gonna be our frame for our picture. So now you should have something like this for your frame. Okay, did you catch up? All right, now we're going to cut this out on the inside. Sometimes, you know, it's kind of hard to get in. Oh, you know what? We have that extra pencil there, 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 and there. You know what I'm going to do? Use my eraser and get rid of those extra lines because we don't need those lines on the inside. We just need this box shape. So let me just erase it. And erase it. Okay, so now we're just going to cut out this shape. But sometimes it's hard to get in. Now you could poke it through, but it might make our, might screw that up a little bit. So you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to fold this, going, doing a hot dog fold. Mm, mm, it's around lunchtime. I'm ready for that. And we're going to fold it. Just like this. Make sure the corner, that corner and that corner line up, and this corner and this corner line up. So we're going to remember we hold it on one side, put our hand down on it, and hold it in place. Is it held in place? Yep, that's pretty good. And then we flatten it going this way. Hey, use those scissors. All right, now you know what you do? Once you've got it folded in half, just like this in a hot dog fold, with our new pencil square on the outside, we're going to cut it along that line. And make sure when you're cutting it, you're kind of pinching it near where the scissors are. But don't cut your fingers, of course, but we want to hold it so we can make sure that it cuts the same on both sides. See how I'm kind of pinching it. And if you go off the lines a little bit, that's okay. But try to stay on them. Take your time. And see this piece? We don't need it, so we'll get rid of it. This is Oops. Our frame. Uh, do you need time to catch up? Well then do it. All right, so we've got our frame, and we've got our two-sided, well, let's see, a two-sided folded white piece of paper. So you know what we got to do now? Well, we get to draw one picture, and you're going to draw a picture within one, two, three, four, five, six, within, the, within this area underneath those numbers, but not in the X and not down here. So if you get confused about where you should draw, just use your, your frame and say, oh, I can draw. Anything that's in here, I can draw. OK, so let's get drawn and, and coloring just on one side, just on one side, just here. All right? Don't do anything on the other side yet. All right? You ready to get going? 
Let's do it. Okay, everyone. So we've got our pieces all cut up right there. Oh, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see it. We've got our pieces of our picture lined up. One, two, three, four, five, six, X, right? Got them all cut up. We've got our, our frame over here. And we're going to start taping these pieces down. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to use a small bit of one-sided tape. And we're going to make sure, let's see, we're going to do it like this. We're going to add one to the top, right on that edge right there. And we're going to add one on this side too. And oops, oops, look, I made a mistake. Oh, I used too much tape. It shouldn't go over the edge. What do we do? Just cut it off with some scissors. It's no big deal. So now we're going to tape this down to our frame, just like this. We're going to line up that cor those corners right there, the corner of the frame and the corner of the um, strip. We're going to tape it down just like that. So there is number one. That's how we're going to do number one. All right, let's get to number two. And look what we're going to do. We're going to line it up with that edge right there. You got to make sure they line exactly up. And you can't look at the picture. Don't look at the picture. Just do the numbers the way I tell you to do it. Okay? So let's get closer. And what did we do before? We added tape right here. Oops, I shouldn't have turned it upside down. We added tape right there to the little um, square at the top. And let's add on the left side. You know how I know a left side? Because I put a big L right here. Oh, I also have a scar there, so that always makes me remember. I have the, I'm the worst with uh, left and right, so I always have to look. See, and now I got an L there, that's the left. All right, so we need to put tape on the left side down in this little box, just like that. Okay, and now, there you go, you caught up. All right, now, we're gonna line this edge up here to that one. Make sure it's nice and tight. We're gonna tape it down. So we're only taping it on one side. Look, we're taping it like that. See how that's moving? They should be able to move like that. All right, what's next? What, what number do you think is next after we did two? Uh, three, three. So we're gonna get number three. We're gonna lay it down. Let's do it a different way. We're gonna lay it down in place, make sure it's lined up right next to the other one. See, it's like, it's getting real chummy right there, right? It's right next to it. And we're gonna tape it on the left side, just like that. One, and don't do it like that. Make sure it's right up next to it. See, it's almost, it's touching it. Oop, did I lose my piece of tape? Sometimes I lose my tape. Flies off. Let's see, come back here, tape. Where did you go? Remember, make sure it's not too big. Now we hold it in place. We tape it on the left side. How do we know? Because Matthew's got an L right there. All right. Let's do four. Where's number four? Right there. We're going to lay it into place, and let's get some tape. Let's do, the, let's do the top, and then we'll do the bottom. Just in the square. Remember, on the left side, right up here, one side, and then the other side, right here. Mm -mm. All right, remember, each one of these should be attached on the left side, just like that. And we're kind of counting going this way. Let's do number five. I'm going to put a little one-sided tape up at the top on the left side there in the little box. And in the box on the bottom. And what do we do again? It's the same thing. We're going to line up this edge. Make sure it goes all the way to it touches it almost. You can even go over it just a teensy bit. And then line it up, and then push down that tape and make sure it's really secure. You know, if you really want to, well, we'll do that. We'll do this last. Then, let's do number six. What do we do? Over here. We put some tape up in the box on the left side. And then we put some tape in the little box on the bottom. On the, which side? Left. And we're going to line it up just like we did before. Now, I know this looks confusing because it looks like our, pe our drawing is all a mess. But trust me. Trust me. Um, then we're going to push it down. Make sure it's lined up there. Pay attention. All right. If you caught up, you've, you've,
got 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we got to do the x. That's the only one left. So we do it just like the others. We add some tape, one side of tape, up in this corner on the left side, just like that. Can you see me? Can you see that? We're going to do the same on the bottom. <laughs> okay, so on the last piece, we, on the top and the bottom, we add a tape, and we're going to tape it down to our frame. Press it down there, press it down there. Now, again, like I said, our picture looks funky, doesn't it? It doesn't look quite right. But it's going to, trust me, it's going to look good. It's going to look really good. Okay. Now, we got to do the next step. Okay, so we've taped down all of these pieces just like this. And it looks kind of jumbled up, but it's going to be okay, trust me. Now, we're going to use a little bit bigger pieces of one-sided tape. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it going sticky side up from, from one on, and we're going to just tape it right here. See how I'm doing that? So the sticky side is going up. I'm going to go get close to that. See how it's going up? And it's just going to be left up because we're going to put something on top of it and sandwich it on. So let's put it, let's put two pieces. Now I would, if I were you, don't do a long piece. Just do two smaller pieces like that. And again, that's sticky side up. See, when I touch it, it's sticky and that's sticky. So we're going to use another piece, and we're going to put it behind number two. We're going to just stick it right under there. See that? In fact, I'm using too big a piece. It needs to just go. We need it to just be under the box, right? I, I wasn't following my directions. Er, let me fix this one. Here, I cut it. Let me cut it right. Mm -hmm. See, I see. I get to you get to watch me make mistakes all the time. This is a cool. This is a really cool craft, but you got to be real careful with it, and and I got to give the right instructions for it. So I'm just gonna tape it over the edge. We only want the tape that's sticky in the little box, right? Sticky side up. All right, sticky side up there. Sticky side up there. Let's see. I got sticky side up on this one. I got a sticky side up on this one. So we're going to do this for all the little boxes on the right side, which is the, this is the right side. You got it. Okay, hooray. Okay, so there's tape on each one of these just in the box with the sticky side going up. Box with the sticky side going up. And now we're going to take our extra last sheet. This is the sheet we didn't even use, right? This is going to be the pulling back and forth part. And here's how it's going to work. We're going to tape it, let's see, just about here. So let's see. I'm going to make sure it's lined up on the top and the bottom. Let's get closer. And then and I'm going to leave a little bit here on the, on the um, left. Left, see? <laughs> Line it up, just like that. And then I'm just going to pr press it down. And I'm going to use my, and we're going to put it on top of that tape. See, the, the sticky side is going to stick to this. Let's use our scissors, and we'll just rub it along here. Rub and rub and rub and rub and rub and rub. Or you can use your hands and press it down. Okay, let's turn it around. And, uh, wait, there's no picture. There's no drawing on this side. But if we pull the frame, the, the black part of the frame. Whoa, look at that. It's our drawing. It's, it's magically appearing. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I love that. Oh, it's a disappearing picture. It's magical. Look at that. It's so cool. All right, so we've got a picture on this side. Look at the dinosaur looks really nice. Of course, you don't have to draw a dinosaur. But let's draw a picture on this side, all right? And when you're drawing it, it's, it might be a little hard to draw on this side. So just take your time drawing and, you know, make sure you don't get caught in there or anything. Just take your time drawing it and coloring it in. And don't be too rough with it. And, uh, well, let's get started. Should we get started? Okay. Okay. All right. We finished our drawing on the other side. So now let's see if it still works. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that. 
It's a changing picture. It's magically changing. But you made the magic. You made the magic. Isn't that cool? So you've made your very own magical two picture frame. Look at that. And um, if you like this, well, be sure and subscribe and there'll be more. Now, we're, I'm going to keep doing art classes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday until this whole lockdown coronavirus thing is over to help out kids and parents and, and anyone who wants to make something cool and be creative. Let's be creative together. Let's make art together, okay? Because everyone's an artist. You got that? We're all artists. I just think some of us forget. See you next time. Bye-bye.